All right. So let's look at uh, an example concerning momentum. Uh, so this one's going to be a very simple application of momentum, and it's going to lead us to understand how to work with momentum because uh, momentums are special in that they are vectors. All right. So just like acceleration and forces that we have done so far, momentum are also vectors, and so we have to be careful about their direction and signs and so on and so forth. So. So let's look at uh, this example. We have a car, one car, let's call it car 1, which has mass uh, 1200 kilograms. And what else? Let's see. Uh, it's driving north at a speed of 32 meters per second. northward direction and then we have a second car uh, car 2 which has mass of 1100 kilograms uh, we were driving at a speed of 23 meters per second at in a direction southwest so it's completely southwest, all right? Now, if the system is defined as the two cars, so the system consists of these two cars and nothing else, then uh, what is the total momentum? We want to find the combined momentum of the system. What is the total momentum of the system? Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, work out this problem. So for any kind of uh, physics problem, it's often easier to just uh, draw a simple diagram of the situation to make us picture this problem better. But for problems involving vectors, it is absolutely necessary that we start with a diagram with all the directions pointed out and so on and so forth. So first of all, we define our axes, plus x in this direction, plus y in that direction and then let's draw how the two cars are moving so one car is just moving north right so let's say this is our car and this is moving north at a speed of 32 meters per second let's call this v1 initial the car the velocity of car one initially was in the northward direction then what about let's uh, also let's call this m1 so the mass of the car one is m1 and then what let's look at our second car the second car was moving at a in a southwest direction so this is north east this is west and that's obviously south so southwest would mean in this direction right so let's call let's say this is m2 that is car 2 is moving at a speed of 23 meters per second in this direction all right so and therefore it forms an angle of theta with the western axis what is theta since it is completely in a southwest direction so it is not at any specific angle but it said that the direction of movement is southwest and that means that theta is actually 45 degrees all right so there we have it the diagrams that we will work with okay so now since we have established that momentum is a vector components of vectors become very important when we try to find any total vector so in, in this case we are trying to find the total momentum of the system so any vector that is not aligned with my chosen axis should have components along our chosen axis so which vector is not aligned with our chosen axis it is the vector or the velocity for car 2 it is at an angle of 45 degrees with the western direction hence we will have to find components for it so let's go ahead and do that the x component is going in this direction let's call it P2, uh, P2x 
and let's call this P um, actually this, these are not P's these are V2X and V2Y and this is V2 all right okay therefore now we are free to add vectors because we know our X and Y components so what is the total vector in the X direction? What is the total momentum in the X direction? First of all, let's remind ourselves what momentum is. Momentum is nothing but mass times the velocity. Therefore, now we separate this idea out into its X and Y components. So what is the momentum in the X direction only? We call that Px. Px would be the summation of P1x with P2x right the two components of momentums uh, the two um, x components of the two separate cars of for momentum p p1 x is this is zero because car one was moving completely in the northward direction and it didn't have uh, x component but p2 x had an x component because it had a velocity in the x direction p is then m2 times v2x all right so what is v2x m2 is as we know uh, 1100 kilograms 1100 times what is p2x well v2x is nothing but since this is the adjacent of this right angle triangle then to relate it with the hypotenuse we, we will uh, need v2 times cosine of whatever that angle is and that angle in our case is 45 degrees and v2 is given to us to be 23 meters per second so 23 cosine 45 right but we are not done yet because we see that the velocity x component of m2 is a negative in the negative x direction so there must be a negative sign up front that is the total x component of momentum what is the total y component similarly the total y component will be a combination of the two y components p1 y and p2 y okay uh, so here we see that m1 only has y component which directly north so that is just m1 times v1 in the y direction plus m2 times v2y which comes out to be m1 is nothing but 1200 and it's in the positive direction so it has a positive sign up front times v1y which is 32 and this is added to m2 is 1100 times v2y v2y we see that it's also in the negative direction negative y direction and this is the opposite of the triangle so we will have v2y to be the magnitude of v2y is uh, v2 sine 45 all right there will be a negative sign up front because it is in the negative direction uh, v2 is 23 sine 45 all right so we have the total x and y components of momentum So now that we have total x and y components, we can safely say that the total momentum is the combination of the total x component of the momentum and the total y component of the momentum. And we have find both we have found both of these. Alright? So if we form a triangle of this momentum, then we will see that let's add add our uh, x and y components. What do we have? Here it turns out to be negative um, 1.79 times 10 to the 4 and the unit for momentum is kilogram meters per second and the y component of the total y component of momentum turns out to be 2.05 times 10 to the 4 kilograms per meter sec meter uh, kilogram meters per second so one component is negative, the x component is in the negative direction. So x component looks like this, px 
the y component is in the positive direction so if you just tack on the y component to the head of the vector px we get the y component then the total uh, the total momentum vector would just be the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle the resultant momentum right pointed in this direction making an angle theta with px so since this is a right angle triangle the uh, this is the overall vector p the magnitude of the overall vector p is just given by the Pythagoras theorem px squared plus py squared if you just square these and add them together take their square root we get the total momentum vector to be 2.7 times 10 to the 4 kilograms meters per second and remember uh, to find total vector we also need to specify its direction the direction for vectors is the angle that it subtends with either of the chosen components we are choosing px then tangent of theta is py over px and remember when finding angles we don't consider the signs of these vectors so py over px we don't worry that px is negative so if you just do that and then to find theta take the arc tangent or tan inverse of this ratio of py to px we get that the direction of the total momentum is 49 degrees and if this is north east west south then we can clearly see that this is going uh, northwest so 49 degrees north of west that is how you find total momentum